Hi, and welcome to the Paul M. Rady Department of Mechanical Engineering. My name is Megan Feathery and I'll be showing you around today. Our department boasts 65 faculty members, 140 PhD students, and about 170 master's students. As a master's student, you'll be able to choose from one of the subtracks listed here. One of the huge legs up of our program is the flexibility, so you'll really be able to make the degree your own. Let's go ahead and head inside. The engineering lobby is the largest common area in the engineering center and is open to engineering students 24-7. This space boasts an ample selection of study spaces as well as hosts recruiters from companies looking to make connections with students who are looking for internships and full-time positions. You can also find the dean's office and the engineering front desk in the lobby. Now we'll be entering the mechanical engineering wing which houses department faculty offices, research labs, and additional study space, as well as the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences Career Services. The first thing we come across as we enter the Mechanical Engineering Wing is one of our study spaces, the Mechanical Engineering Community Lounge. This is a great space for collaboration, equipped with tables for groups, study space for individuals, and whiteboards. In addition, many departmental events are held here, such as Waffle Fridays, a weekly event put on by the department where you'll be able to swing by and grab a waffle and some coffee. Coffee and tea is free 24-7 in the community lounge as well. Just outside the community lounge, we have some professor's offices lining the hallway along one side, with the other featuring a few of our research labs, which are scattered throughout the mechanical engineering wing and many of which are on the lower level floors. Also lining the hallways are these posters showing off our amazing alumni who have founded startups after graduating. At the end of the hall, we have our administrative offices. You'll be able to find our graduate program specialist, Megan Vara here, who both oversees and handles MS admissions, as well as academic advising for all MS students in the mechanical engineering department. Just past the mechanical engineering community lounge is the mechanical engineering front desk. Someone is always at the desk to answer any questions or reserve study rooms. The study rooms are located just down the hall from the front desk and are on a first-come, first-served basis if not reserved. There are more study rooms throughout the mechanical engineering and office tower wings that are available for student use as well. Finally, past the study rooms are even more collaborative study space as well as the College of Engineering Success Hub which contains scholarship resources, career services for the College of Engineering, academic coaching, and counseling services. Next, we will be exploring Dr. Welker's lab, one of the many you are able to do research in as a master's student at CU. Dr. Welker's research focuses on biomedical robotics, specifically the creation of effective assistive devices. Here, her students are tracking respiratory and movement data utilizing a treadmill in order to develop a motorized prosthetic. Our final stop in the engineering center is the classroom wing. This is where most of the classes are held. Directly connected to the engineering center via a bridge in the electrical engineering department on the second floor, we come to the Discovery Learning Center, or DLC. You'll be able to find more study space in this area on all three floors. After our quick stop at the DLC, we'll make our way over to the Integrated Teaching and Learning Lab, or ITLL. We can take the bridge from the DLC directly over to the ITLL. Before we make our way there, we'll stop at the terrace outfitted with tables to study and collaborate at. This is one of my personal favorite study spots. Once we make it to the top floor of the ITLL, we're immediately brought to more study space, as well as the many various exhibits that the ITLL has. These can be found on all three floors and can definitely be a fun break from schoolwork. Also on the top floor of the ITLL are our Prusa 3D printers. After taking a workshop, you are able to print whatever you'd like as long as the print is under 10 hours and fits on the build plate. Printing using PLA is completely free, and printing using any other material will only cost you the price of the filament. The ground floor of the ITLL boasts our Project Depot, a small workshop where you can use the various tools in the room for any projects, classwork, or personal. This room contains anything from sewing, soldering, drilling, sawing, and any other basic manufacturing methods that you might require, and no prior certification or workshop is needed to use the equipment here. 
The ground level and lower level floors are also where most of our lab and project-based classes are held. Both floors hold enough lab stations to host two labs at a time, so you'll have space to work even with a class going on at the same time. Each lab station contains a computer, multimeter, function generator and oscilloscope, and two power sources, as well as lockers available for checkout for pre-approved courses, such as MSEN 5228, Mechatronics and Robotics. The lower level also boasts various material testing equipment, as well as our laser cutting room. Once you complete a workshop, you are able to log into our computers in the laser cutting room and use one of the three laser cutters for anything you may need. Scrap material can be found under the printers, so material does not always need to be purchased. Also on the lower level is our wood shop and machine shop. Workshops must be completed to use the equipment in these rooms, but similar to the laser cutting and 3D printing, the equipment is free for personal and academic use once this is completed. Both the machine shop and wood shop contain even more scrap material, so any project will require minimal personal cost. Both rooms are connected, so there is no need to move back and forth between rooms and contain an extensive array of equipment for anything you might need for your projects. The project depot, machine shop, and wood shop all have staff on site for any questions you might have or any help utilizing the equipment. These rooms are very popular among our students. the engineering center, we can take the bridge on the second floor of the ITLO. On this bridge, we have various study rooms available for reservation and all come with a great view of our engineering courtyard. Just past the bridge, we have our electronics center. This room contains 10 soldering stations as well as storage of any electronic parts or materials you might need completely free. This includes jumper cables, LEDs, resistors, buttons and switches, etc. Just across the hall is the Electronics Fabrication Center, which contains higher quality and more advanced electronics equipment, including our PCB fabrication machine. Both the Electronics Center and Electronics Fabrication Center have two engineers each on staff to aid in any projects you're working on. Into the engineering center, we have the locker room and consumables closet. This front room contains lockers for larger projects and workspaces for collaboration. The back room contains even more workspace, as well as free materials such as screws, springs, tape, sandpaper, and anything else you might need, which you can take free of cost for anything you're working on. Down the hall, we have a few CAD labs, though every computer in the ITL is equipped with SOLIDWORKS as well. Thank you for your interest in the Paul M. Rady Department of Mechanical Engineering. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our website and don't hesitate to reach out to our email listed here. Scobuffs!